All right, what's up guys? Monday, time to get after it. Uh, it's Sunday when we're filming this, so happy Mother's Day. Belated to all the CFP moms or any other moms that may be watching. Um, yeah, hope you guys had an awesome Sunday. Got to enjoy some family time or some Zoom family time, something like that, I don't know. Um, but anyway, hope you guys had a great day. Um, today, Echo will not be joining us. She's upstairs being dumb because she just tried to eat an ant trap, so she's gonna go ahead and take a little break. Um, but what we're gonna do today, <laughs> so we're gonna start the week off um, with a with a doozy. Uh, so for the warm up, though, what we got? We got a five minute uh, AMRAP for the warm up. You're gonna do three reverse lunges on each leg. So again, stepping back, finding 90 on both, all the way back to full extension. You're gonna go three on one side, three on the other side. You're then gonna do six kneeling push ups. So again, down on your knees, keeping the belly tight, just focusing on keeping the elbows in, tucked to the side, and maintaining that stability in the shoulders. So not doing this at all during my push-up. And then I've got six rushing kettlebell swings with any object. So either my dumbbell, kettlebell, something like that. Again, really simple movements in the warm-up. We're just looking to get the blood flowing. I want you guys to try and get through at least, you know, five, six, seven rounds of this. So get some rounds in, get that heart rate up. Then when you guys are done, we're gonna do a one minute of alternating elbow to instep. So take as long as you like on each leg, but we're just gonna go ahead, long lunge, drop down, reach to the instep, and you can switch as often or as not often as you like, but you're gonna work through those for one minute. So that's your warm up. Uh, after that, our strength work for the day is three sets. You're going to do six to eight. I don't know, you know, you can choose the rep range depending on how heavy or light. So if six reps or eight reps is gonna, well, I'll take that back. Six or eight reps will make a big difference depending on how heavy the weight is. So again, kind of use that rep range based off of what objects you have. Um, but the two movements are a half kneeling press and a single arm ring row. So um, for the half kneeling press, all that is, is I'm gonna be in a half kneeling position and I'm gonna press from the opposite side. So I'm gonna have this leg out here stable, this arm is gonna be my pressing arm, and every single rep of both movements is going to have a three second descent. So I'm going to press overhead, and then count for one, one thousand, two, three, press, one, two, three, and I'm gonna go through that for six to eight reps on one arm, and then I'm gonna switch legs positions, and I'm gonna press six to eight reps on the other arm. A um, couple things to keep in mind, again, whenever you're pressing, you should always be starting with the elbow and the hand in front of the body, so I'm in a nice actual kind of front rack position here. The reason we do this is it's going to make the press more universal, so it'll be more effective for our handstand push-ups, more effective for our push jerks, split jerks, things like that, because if you think about it, if I press from here, I jerk from here. So it's a very similar position to be in. If I press from out here, I don't do anything from out here. So I don't do any jerks. I, don't, I shouldn't be doing handstand push-ups out here. But again, this wide position doesn't really serve me from a you know, kind of universal movement standpoint. So keep that in mind. But again, so you're going to do six to eight reps on both arms. After that, you're going to do six to eight single arm ring ropes. Uh, if you have any other kind of you know, band, ring, or rope, any apparatus that you can hang from something, feel free to do your single arm rows on it. Otherwise, we are going to make use of these towel rows. So we did these for the first time, I think it was last week, and uh, Dave and I actually fell in love with them. We both really enjoy them as a, a, a single arm rowing option. So you'll be seeing this and variations of this, um, you know, kind of coming along more often now. But again, what we're looking for, take a dish towel, toss it in here, and we're going to get a lot more forearm engagement out of this, and again, it puts us also in a unique pulling position, which is also cool and different. So all I'm going to do is, again, grab nice and low by the kettlebell, and then from there, I'm going to keep the shoulder blades pulled back, keep the midline engaged, hamstrings are loaded, and I'm going to pull all the way until my thumb touches my chest. So I'm going to get a nice deep range of motion, getting as, my elbows pulled as far back as I can, and I'm going to do six to eight reps on one arm, all the six to eight reps on the other arm. And again, those also will have a three second descent. So the three second descent for six to eight reps, that's gonna be, you know, 30 to 40 seconds of hanging on the stuff. This is gonna be an added element of grip fatigue. So by the time you get 30, 40 seconds in, you're getting those six to eight reps done, 
your forearms are going to start to feel it because again you're holding on at a very odd angle versus just being able to really kind of wrap all the way around like you would for a normal single arm row or single arm ring row. So three sets, that's going to be your strength work to start the week. After that, your conditioning for the day is four times. It's a descending ladder. So you're going to do 20 hang cleans. You're going to do 20 front rack lunges. And then you are going to do two to one push-ups. So 40. Then the reps go down. You're going to do 18 hang cleans, 18 lunges, 36 push-ups. 16, 16, 32. You get the idea. All the way down to 10. So your last set will be 10, 10, and 20. So my guess is that the fastest this workout will be done is like 13 to 14 minutes. Most people are going to be in the high teens. You're going to be looking at like easily 16 to 18, maybe even 20 minutes of work. So keep that in mind when you're breaking this up. Um, but as far as stimulus goes, so again, we're starting off with some big sets. So 20, 18, 16 reps of these movements, you know, you're not going to go unbroken. Um, at least not intelligently, I don't think. So you might be able to go unbroken, but it'll bite you in the booty. Um, so what we're looking for here, I would say your RX weight for the day is probably going to be something around, you know, maybe 95, 65, 115, 75. But again, the key here, this is 80 reps of each movement. So it's 80 hang cleans and 80 lunges. So when you keep, take that into consideration, the weight shouldn't be all that heavy. It should be something that's relatively trivial, trivial for you. So whatever that might be, again, like I said, 95, 65, at most 115, 75. Um, so that's if you're using a barbell. We'll talk kettlebells or dumbbells in a second. I also just want to mention for the push-ups, prescribed is two to one. That's 160 push-ups if you do this workout RX. So again, scale that first by scaling the reps. So it's, uh, rather than do 40 reps and then 36, etc., of the R, of a, a scale movement, scale the reps and do RX. So do just one to one. So you'll do 20 reps, hang clean, 20 lunges, 20 push-ups, 18, 16, and just do that for your push-ups. So that'll be one of your primary scaling options is just taking out the two to one and doing a one to one rep scheme. After that, you're going to do elevated push-ups. So you'll do hands on an object. Again, focusing on rigid plank positions and then just making sure that when I come down, my uh, bra line touches down to the object and then I press back up to full extension, making sure the elbows are tucked in the whole time. Um, now, let's talk about, so again, uh, if you're doing this workout with a single object, rep scheme stays the same and you're just going to split the work on both arms. So for the hang cleans, you'll go ahead and you will do 20 hang cleans total. Switching arms whenever you like. So you can do 10 and 10. You can switch every five. It's up to you, but you have to do all 20 hang cleans. Then for the front rack lunges, you can just front rack here. So you can do a goblet lunge. So take your kettlebell or your dumbbell and you'll just load it up in the front here. And that'll be how you'll do this workout if you have, again, a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Um, so that's about it as far as the workout goes. A couple points of performance that I want you guys to focus on. So first off, for the front rack lunges, remember it's a relaxed position. So when I'm doing anything front rack, I've got my arms nice and relaxed, the bar is resting in casually in my fingertips and on my shoulders, and I'm just really trying to keep those elbows as close to parallel to the ground as possible. And then when I lunge out, again, 90 degrees on both legs, the most important thing here is that the first thing that should happen when I go to stand back up, those elbows should start to reach up as I press back. So this looks good. What I don't want to see is coming off the ground and kind of slouching a little bit and then you get into that stutter step on the way back as well. So again, you always want to explosively step all the way back. You don't want to stutter step it and make sure those elbows stay pointing straight across the room the whole time for those front neck lunges. For the hang cleans for today, this should be something that you're just ripping through. So if you're using a barbell, again, I, I don't want you to have any hesitation whatsoever from one rep to the next. So again, front rack position, I want to be catching pretty high. So for today, muscle clean might even be a good option for this workout. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and cycle from here. So I'm going to allow the chest to come forward a little bit. And then I'm just going to pull all the way back up. The weight for today's workout should be light enough that this might even be an option for at least part of the workout, maybe not the whole time. As you get tired, 
you can start to drop into that half squat a little bit. Again, I shouldn't be moving my feet too much today because I'm focusing on cycling these reps fast. So you shouldn't be doing any kind of dancing, feet going way out wide, anything like that. Now, after that workout's over, our accessory work. So we got three rounds. You're gonna do 15 to 20 towel curls followed by 15 to 20 tricep extensions. So again, going back to making things weird, and getting up. Excuse me, getting all fancy. Uh, what we're gonna do for the towel curl, you're gonna go ahead, lap it around an object. And then I'm just gonna go through my normal, this is heavy for a curl. Um, so I'm gonna go through my normal range of motion, but I'm just gonna be using this in a weird way. So again, my hand can turn as I come through, and I'm just getting a much different range of motion and a lot more grip work out of that. Again, that's probably too heavy. I would need a lighter object. Um, but you can always modify again. You can wrap up a water bottle in the towel something like that And if you don't have a weight that's comfortable for that you can always just do a normal curl So you could just do a bar normal barbell curl normal kettlebell curl anything like that And then I've got my tricep extensions. So for the tricep extensions uh, Ideally, they're gonna be banded. So you're gonna go ahead take a band lap it around the door object and we're gonna go again elbows at 90 press out if you don't have that option, we're gonna do some skull crushers. So you're gonna lay down on an object. You can relax your entire back on. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my upper back here. I'm gonna start at 90 degrees. So this is gonna be 90 degrees to my torso. And then I'm gonna break at the elbow till I find 90 here. And then I'm going to press back up overhead. And I'm gonna do 15 to 20 reps there. That is all of your fitness for the day. Then the last thing we have is a little bit of mobility. So we're gonna do a one minute elbow to instep stretch on each side. And again, that's gonna be the exact same stretch that we did during the warm up. So just finding a long lunge position, dropping that elbow down and reaching down towards the inner part of my foot. And then you're gonna do a one minute pigeon pose per side as well. So we're really gonna focus on opening up the hips, opening up the glutes after a whole lot of lunges during that workout. So that's the start to your week, enjoy. Hopefully you guys have a chance to get outside this week. It's supposed to get a little bit of decent weather, hopefully. Um, but yeah, as always, tag us, Forged by Zeus, Palata Ithaca, CrossFit Queens, and we will see you guys back tomorrow for Tuesday's training.